We're going to show you how to name a document that's being scanned to email or being scanned to folder so that when the scan document arrives at the folder or in the email that it's already been given a specific document name as opposed to the generic name that a scanner will apply to any given document. So to use scanning first of all we go to menu and we select our scan feature we tell the machine where we want to scan to. In this case, I'm going to scan to my own email. And we can hit start right now and it will send the scan, but the scan will have a generic file name. So I want to show you if you choose how to name the document prior to it being scanned. I come down to this choice at the bottom. It says file name. We touch that and it shows right now the file name. You can see the generic name that would be given if we did not change it especially when you're scanning to a folder used by multiple people. It can be confusing if a number of files accumulate and they all have these generic file names. So if I touch the little icon of the keypad, it will now give me a keypad. And to get rid of the generic name, I touch this C and the generic name goes away. Now I can use the keypad to create a file name and I'm going to just not be super creative, but we'll name it test and say OK. Now because I'm scanning to email, I also can change the subject name. So if I'm scanning to someone else's email, um, I can give the subject of the email a name while it's being scanned as well because we actually in this case are sending an email of the scan document to someone. So under subject, I'm going to hit the icon of the keyboard. I'm going to hit the C key to get rid of the generic scan subject and I am going to say this space is, oops, and good opportunity, I typoed, so I'm going to hit delete which will go back one character at a time and we're going to say this is space A test. OK. And then I say OK that I'm finished and I hit start. So now it's scanned my document. It sent it to the email that I selected. It's going to show up with a PDF that is now labeled test.pdf and the subject line is going to say this is a test. So again the way that we got here is we just uh, when we went to the scan menu we selected a location and we went to file name and that's where we just entered those different fields. So that is how you name a document as it's being scanned. And if you're scanning to email, how you can also name the subject line on the document being sent.